gun used to kill multiple members of the Roden family. BCI firearms expert Matthew White delivered what could turn out to be damning testimony in the state of Ohio's case against George Wagner today. I felt the most likely candidates for firearms that could have been used were the SKS 762 by 39 and the Colt 1911 22 pistol. Yesterday, jurors in Wagner's murder trial learned his brother Jake kept a list of guns that investigators think both men, along with their parents, Billy and Angela, owned. On that list, an SKX 762x39 and a Colt 1911-22 pistol. Defense attorneys successfully objected when prosecutor Andy Wilson tried to get White to testify in detail about the list of guns. But White was able to discuss his analysis of shell casings that were collected during a search of this Adams County home where George, Jake, and Angela Wagner were living about a year after eight members of the Roden family were shot to death. Wilson asked White if spent shell casings that investigators collected from that home on Peterson Road were fired by the same gun used at two of the four crime scenes where the rodents were killed. And in my opinion, all of the 22 long rifle cartridge cases were fired in the same specific pistol. Defense attorney John Parker tried to blunt the impact of White's words. Good afternoon, Mr. White. Good afternoon, sir. Good to see you again. You too, sir. Uh, you don't know who fired that weapon. No, sir, I cannot say that. Thank you, Jeff. Ten seconds. That's how long it took defense attorney John Parker to cross-examine uh, that BCI firearms expert, Matthew White. It's a stark contrast to prosecutors who've been uh, presenting evidence and testimony in painstaking details for a long time now, as this trial today marked its 18th day. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. A lot of interesting stuff.